Hey, welcome to another day with nice conversations. Today, I just want to talk about some ideas that I perceive in the world, like the whole world, how we how we see the world, and how it's formed and how it's not formed and what's formation. One question I wanted to come out is, are we living in a simulation? Um, to me, I feel like simulation is video game world, society. Simulation can be considered so many things. Simulation is something that is always being perceived. There's nothing indifferent or different about simulation and reality. So think of the word sim. Sim, you, lay, shun. You know, the sun sh shun, you know? Think about that. That's just something you give and take of that idea. But in our reality, when you walk around and see people doing what they're doing, we're just living amongst the simulation. So simulation isn't something to me that is wild and conspiracy and crazy and what it is and what it isn't. Information that artificial technology, the AI that we are involved with here, which is us using our own mind to create whatever we do, you know, we watch simulations all the time on our, our phones, you know, our, compu our computers, uh, everywhere, you know. Everything is a simulation, a projection, a projector of what you want it to be. Um, nature could be a simulation, you know, itself. It has a process, a database. You know, anything with a database or a process is a simulation, you know. The humans have a database or a process. Science is a simulation. Boom, you know, bam. Yeah, so that's that's something a topic I want to talk about. And another thing I wanted to speak of is this coronavirus. And I know that a lot of us are afraid of that and think that oh man, it's a fear factor, or if it's a fear. It's so I'm I'm afraid. I, I don't know what to do. I, I don't want to go to Asia. I don't want to go anywhere, or I don't want to go to the airport or anywhere because I'm afraid of this coronavirus. It's killing people. You know, it's I'm, it's, I'm afraid. You know, to me. I see this coronavirus as a transition to knowing the truth, you know what I mean? Because the coronavirus is no different than the Ebola or the, the swine flu or all these crazy things that just, uh, they, you know, they, they, it, not they, but we tend to have other parts of us that want to reflect an image that is fearful because it's something we're cleansing out of us so we're not really going through a coronavirus so if you want to break down the word coronavirus itself because to me I feel like the English language has a lot of patterns and if you break it down the word planet to me it's a plan net so a plan that is in a network we're in a network this, like the Wi-Fi and the satellites and stuff they tell us in the news and how we're connected with Wi-Fi and so much technology. The coronavirus also breaks down a core of existence, the core of creation, and then um, Ona actually means her or she um, in a reference. I'll put the reference down there. I think there's a hidden message behind it saying that we're going back to where we're supposed to go back to, to the core of the mother. And we're coming through that through consciously expressing herself in these mirror worlds and these shadow shadow worlds because really what this world is is shadows we're just projecting everything so the experience is that and what is the learning aspect is going through it um, everything else is just a perception of, of objects which you can have a hexagon to a circle it's still objects that we perceive and have it within us so um, shadow boxing is a video I'm going to speak about more Stay tuned for that and mirror worlds and how I think everything is the mirror, like the black mirror. Anyways, thank you for coming to the nice conversation and make sure you tap into our astral verse with Mobbin and uh, Woe as one of our hottest singles out right now. And make sure you check them out. Uh, yeah, catch us on Instagram, Astro Gangery. And yeah, from there you can check out all the rest of our uh, inputs and outputs. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. It'll help you boy out to make more content like this. Consciously and unconsciously. All right, see you next time. Oh.